Joe, why the fuck would you take the White House Correspondents' Dinner? I think that sounds like so much pressure. And then it seems like afterwards it's a no-win situation. Everybody just criticizes you anyway. I'm, I'm preparing for that. I I'm, uh, I, yeah, it's a weird because I, it's like a when they asked, I, I, all I thought was, well, I can't not say no to that. It, it seemed like exactly. And I was just on Len Letterman yesterday, and he's like, I don't think that would be a good idea for me to do that. <laughs> no, but do Happy they vet you it. because they want you to goof on, you know, the whole Washington scene. Right. They want you to even goof a little bit, and be playful with the president, but you can only go so far. Like, do yeah. they? and um, they thought Colbert went too far when they he did? did it. Yeah, because that was during the Bush era, right? And he, well, he did what he does were so well right. playing that character and it did not if you watch the speech it's brilliant but it did not at the, at the time people were like what are you doing you're making fun of the president so, so has anybody vetted you has anyone said look man we don't know about you or, or what are you going to be doing?" no they not yet they all they said the only thing note i was like can you just make sure you make fun of that like don't just make fun of the president i'm like well of course i'm not yeah, right. just have you written all your jokes i mean have you have you got all your material set for what you're going to do i've never generated more material in my life and how many guys will write this thing for you the, uh, i brought the two guys that are mainly writing writing it they're they're here with me because they're traveling with me and what are their credentials like how do you choose them to write your jokes they worked for e so oh, you had what them. else can you have are I mean, they on talk soup they were they very long ago they were on the on the soup but then they have written almost every appearance as far as uh just jokes they've written everyone and what do you do do you pay them or there's the the, the there's the yeah do you, is, you have to pay them. Not I'm paying them. I'm paying other writers. I'm paying for my family to fly out. I have wow. never spent more <laughs> How on much a is gig. this costing you? I think about, and Kimmel said, you're going to spend so much money you won't believe it. I think at this point I'm up to about $40,000. Do they really? pay you at all? They do pay. Okay. Oh, they do? It's not a big check. It's a stipend. Yes. Does, it, did, did Jimmy give Jimmy Kimmel give you any advice on yeah. doing this? What was his advice? He said... He, if he said he could go back and do it again, he would cut out about 30% of his jokes. Oh, really? Jo not be they were all very great. I mean, they're great jokes, but he said uh, just brevity. Just keep it short. Keep it sweet and short. And But it seems to me most guys go on and on and on for like a half hour or something. A lot of people go. If you, but if the last, like, so I, I, this is how much I've studied it. Seth Meyers went like 15 minutes. Oh, he did? Uh, Conan did like 17 minutes. Right. And then Kimmel did barely 20 but then other guys, they've gone longer. And the thing is, this is the last, I'm the last person up, and they've all been sitting for three hours, and I'm the last thing keeping them from going out to all the parties. That is the worst fucking thing, but they're waiting for you because you're going to give some sarcasm. Yeah. Everyone wants hopefully. you to be like the badass, and then when you're the badass, everyone will criticize you for yeah, it. It's a, a no-win fucking job. There's going to be a lot of, ooh, yeah, a lot right, of that. Right, yeah. And, and it's no. something that's evaluated, that you get a grade. Yeah, the yeah. The next day. Yeah. Yep. The yep. newspapers grade you. It's like yeah. a whole thing. And it seems yep. to me nobody does it two or three years in a row, do they? It's no. Like, no. Is it that they don't invite people back to do it again, or is it because everybody just gets so criticized that they don't even want to come back? I think it's I think it's uh, they give someone else a shot. Conan's done it twice. He right. did it early on in his career. And I think so. They brought a couple people. I think Bob Hope probably did it a few times. But now, now when when guys write all this material for you and you do it, and you, now now have you timed it out? How long you're going to actually go for? We we've timed it, but we have to cut. We all we agree we have to cut it about in half. How long are you right now? Uh, we're about 25 minutes. Oh, that's too long, according to Way the Jimmy Kimmel. The Jimmy Kimmel yes. philosophy is cut, <laughs> cut, cut. Cut, and you have to go, sl you have to talk slow, because in that situation, you want to, you know, you get excited, and you're, it's, you're going to, just like being in a race where you, all of a sudden you're, it's you're almost like a, running. It's almost like a reading contest, you know, because you're sitting yeah. there reading jokes to people, essentially. Yeah. But you got to have a good delivery. And you're right, you have to go slow, because you probably, your tendency is, I just want to get this the fuck over with, yeah. right? Yeah, and you've got... 4,000 people in that room, and right. you've got all these... Uh, there's dishes clanking, people getting up to go to the bathroom. And, you know, after a three-hour evening, it's very hard to be funny. I mean, there's, yeah. there's so much that can go wrong. I don't mean to f keep throwing, you know, no, I'll be, gasoline but I'll be, on the fire, but... I'll be getting ready like I'm in a rocket launch. I'll Are be, you going to drink? You know, because you no. got to think about all of that. If I got up there tipsy... <laughs> have a few shots. <laughs> <laughs> Just be, hey, everybody. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to say. Anyway, did, you write, did, did you write anything so far that you considered too mean and you threw it right up, but it was a killer joke? There are jokes that because that one of the things everyone says is don't go blue because that right. you'll lose them because everybody is a very I mean even con the Democrats will be conservative when it comes like they don't want to be seen laughing when you say work blue like you won't say ass you'll say ass uh, Kimmel did say asshole right and there was a big ooh but I think he knew I mean, 
he knew he was getting a good reaction. Even right. if you get ooze, you're, that's a reaction better than silence and staring. Now, in retrospect, that you've put in this couple of months planning for this, are you kind of like, you know, fuck, I shouldn't have done this. Do you have any regrets of saying yes? No, I am I really am happy, <laughs> but the size, the glass of wine that I'm going to have afterwards. 